in addition to coding if there is one modality which has evolved a lot that is voice in this video i am going to introduce you to yet another voice generation model which is maya one we are going to install it locally and then we will be playing around with it this model is known for its expressive and emotionally rich voice generation built on just 3 billion parameter llama style transformer this model predicts snack neural codec tokens to produce 24 kilohertz high fidelity audio in real time this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. I am going to use this Ubuntu system. I have one GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. If you are looking to rent a GPU or VM or CPU on very affordable price, you can find the link to matched compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for a range of GPUs. Okay, so the virtual environment is created. I will get the installation underway while I talk more about this model. I'm just installing now some prerequisites within that virtual environment. And everything is now installed. Next up, all you need to do is to run this script. This is a script which they have given on their Hugging Face card. And all I have done, I have just put in some Gradio interface on top of it so that it will be easier to play around with it. And all this is doing it is accept, accepting your text prompt and then generating the token from the voice. And our Gradio demo is running on our local host at port 7860. So let me open it there. And this is what it looks like. So let's quickly try it out. I have just selected this preset character, female British. This is a voice description. You can also give it your own. And this is the text to uh, speak, but I'm just going to change it. And on the right hand side, you can see that these are the supported emotions. So let me give it a paragraph, which includes all of these emotions. And I have tried to keep it coherent. So let me go down and then click on generate speech. And the first time when you run this, it downloads the model and you can see that there are two shards of it while the model downloads this is only the first time let's wait and it has produced a short clip after loading the model let me make it a bit bigger so that you can read the text while i play it i'll just go here so that you could also see it properly let me play this i can't believe it we finally did it after all the long nights and endless meetings i thought we'd never make it you might have noticed some breaks there so this is not a model's fault this is just because i'm accessing it remotely so what i'm going to do i'm just going to put it in the browser and run it there so let me run it from here i can't believe it we finally did it after all the long nights and endless meetings i thought we'd never make it but then out of nowhere, you showed up <laughs> with that ridiculous grin of yours and everything changed. That's it. So this does 18 minutes, 18 seconds. And now I am testing out some other emotions like cry, disappointed and, you know, um, some whispering. And while it happens, let me show you the VRAM consumption. So it is consuming just touch over 8 gig of VRAM as you can see. And that is done. Let me play it in the browser. I tried to stay strong, but it still hurts after all that effort. I can barely speak, yet somehow I still hum our tune like nothing's changed. You see, it sometimes misses some of the emotions like saying, and Sai was also, there was a bit delay. There was hardly any whisper. Now I am going to change the preset character. So I've just gone with singer. There is also a robot. And then this is a voice description. This is a text to speak. I will, I will also increase a max token. I'll keep the temperature until, uh, up till just 0.4. And let's wait to, for, for it to see what it generates. 
Okay, let me play it here. Of course you'd think that trying to reason with the 50-foot-tall rage monster is a viable course of action. <laughs> Why would we ever consider running away very fast? So this is like, like a screaming, very emotional sort of voice, you see? Okay, let's try out maybe a robotic one now. So I'm just going to select the robot. And I will just go what they have provided this time. Let's generate the speech. While it generates, let's talk a bit more around the uh, insides of this model. So unlike traditional text-to-speech systems that rely on fixed voice samples or limited emotional control, this one enables users to design voices directly through natural language descriptions, which we just saw. And that eliminates the need for complex parameter tuning or training data. The model supports over 20 distinct emotions such as laughter, crying, whispering, but I have seen that it sometimes misses quite a few of them. But you can place inline, which is quite a good improvement. Also, it offers real-time streaming capabilities through Snack Codec and VLLM integration, but you would have to build that, uh, you know, feature into the model. You would have to integrate it with your voice assistant, or you can use it with your live interactive agents. I think one thing which is quite interesting or impressive about this model is the emotional depth and scalability. It runs efficiently, as you just saw, just on 8 GB of VRAM, and the English accents are not bad at all. And to top it off, it is Apache 2 license, which basically allows us unrestricted commercial usage. They also have shared some training pipeline detail, which I will tell you shortly. But for now, let's go back and see what it has generated. My directives require me to conserve energy. Yet I have kept the archive of their farewell messages active. Hi, listening to their voices is the only process that alleviates this paradox. You yeah, see, so again, the sigh emotion in this robotic voice was not really there. Next up, I have selected this male American and I am going to test out this sarcastic and I will give another go to the whispering. Let's generate it. While it generates, let me talk um, quickly around the pipeline for training. So the training pipeline in this model combines internet scale pre-training with human curated fine tuning that ensures high quality and natural sounding speech across diverse speaking style. As you can see, you know, they specify the age, which really makes it different. And by pro uh, they have also provided the local deployability, the code is there, which is quite good. So they are, I think, trying to match up with players like Eleven Labs or even Open AI's TTS models. So pretty good, not bad at all. I think future version should be even better. Anyway, let's play this out. Let's see how it goes. Oh, oh sure. Because that plan worked out so well last time. Don't make a sound. They might hear us. Okay, so the cool thing was that it did the sarcastic pretty well. With three, D, three dots, it also gave it a pause, but doesn't really follow the whispering. Anyway, let me know what do you think. I think it's a pretty good model for the first one. I will see how it evolves. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you're already subscribed, please become a member because that what drives this channel and I'll be very very grateful. Thank you for all the support.